Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Vinyl Reviews. Now today I thought I'd do a little video on my first reaction and like a little review of the Cloverfield Paradox. Now this is the third film in the Cloverfield series. I've seen the second one, um, 10 Cloverfield Lane, a fantastic movie by the way, suspenseful thriller and John Goodman is amazing in it. Definitely go see that one. I haven't seen the first one, which is the actual kaiju -y one, uh, pretty much only because it's a found footage film and I can't stand found footage films. So I really hope this one isn't, because I, I know nothing about this one. Just there's been a lot of hype about it on all the Godzilla um, pages on Facebook and and yeah, and it's just come up in in my um, Netflix because I've still got that free trial from seeing Monster Planet uh, for a few more days. So I'm going to make the most of it and see this movie while I can. And I'll let you guys know if it's worth seeing or not, I guess. So come forth and we will see the Cloverfield Paradox. And I'll probably just start watching and cut off and then you'll see me after the film and you'll see what reaction... I got sources tell us the world's energy resources will be fully exhausted within five years. Space station was completed today. All right, so I'm back. I just finished watching the film. Uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. It's it's a it's a space movie, basically, um, without getting into too many spoilers. It's um, very, it reminded me a lot of um, Interstellar, Alien Covenant, and um, Passengers, a whole bunch of those films, but with some even weirder stuff going on, actually. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd say, if you've got Netflix, definitely check it out. It's, um... It's got the the guy from IT Crowd, Chris O'Dowd, in it, and he was pretty good. I think uh, he's got he's usually in comedic roles, so when he showed up, it's like, oh, is he gonna fit in with the tone? But you know, they didn't really play him up as the uh, comedic character. He was just had this natural funniness about him, which worked well. And actually, all the cast was really good. The the main lead, who um in the Apparently it's called Goo Goo. Great name. She was good. Uh, very interesting film. I liked the the set design here and all the the um, costuming and the props were pretty cool. It reminded me a little bit of Pacific Rim actually and some of the more sci-fi esque space movies we've got recently. So definitely go check this one out. Um, it's not really a kaiju film, although, spoiler, at the end we do see the Cloverfield monster for just a, a second. It, in the same way as we saw some monsters at the end of 10 Cloverfield Lane, which is a very different movie. So, what I like about these films, and again, I haven't seen the first one, is it feels like they're trying to build this cinematic universe, which is leading to like a um to a bigger movie kind of like how the the monster verse is you know put, putting Godzilla in and then Kong and then it's like building to to a bigger movie like Godzilla vs King Kong but um and and you know all the Marvel films and DC etc all building to their own mishmash films that happen later on but here we have films like 10 Cloverfield Lane, which is completely, which is based in a universe where it's this whole monster thing is happening, but then the whole movie is its own movie, it's something else. It's that suspenseful thriller, and it's done really well, but yet it's still in this universe. And then we get this film, which is like a sci-fi space, interdimensional kind of um movie where there are, it's a little more claustrophobic on the ship as well but and 
then they just, in the last minute, they throw in this connection, kind of building the world of this monster thing that's going to go go on. And I think, yeah, it's good. we're going to see more of this probably. Uh, again, I, f I think it was produced by J.J. Abrams, which is why we had have a lot of those lovely lens flares in there. Also, uh, it was a bit tonally similar to some... Uh, okay, it was a bit more uh, dramatic or... Uh, serious I'd say but uh, kind of similar in that space sort of aspect as his uh, Star Trek films and but overall yeah I was I liked it more than I thought I would so if you have Netflix check it out mm, that's all from me so yeah happy collecting and may all your vinyl be radiated vinyl over and out <laughs>